Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to extend uh, the existing e-bonding spoke, which is available out of the box with service now. If you have not seen my previous video where I have explained how to set up the connection between two instances for the e-bonding spoke to work, please see the description in this email. I have put the link to the previous video where you will understand how the e-bonding spokes out of the box works and how to set up the connection between two environment. In this video specifically, we are going to see how we can accommodate extra fields. When I say extra fields, let me show you something. Now, for example, update remote incident. If I click on this icon, you can see out of the box, this set of fields are e-bonded or are transferred from one environment to the another environment. But here, if you can see, there is no work notes and no comments field. So I'm going to show you how you can extend this particular action to accommodate additional fields in your environment. Some clients also have custom fields which they want to e-bond or which they want to send. So to do that, what you have to do and how you can do it, I'm going to show you. Now, this is the out of the box. Uh, I'm going to show you. Yeah. So this is out of the box action, which is available with e-bonding spoke. Here you can see first we are doing the lookup. When, when I say lookup, here we are getting the details of the remote incident. Then what we are doing is we are only reading the sys ID. You can see we are only reading the sys ID of the remote incident. Once we have the sys ID, we are parsing that sys ID in step number two. Once we do that, here we are creating the payload. Now, when I say we are uh, we are creating the payload, it means that here, this is the script include. In this script include, we are building the JSON payload. Now, if I show you this script include, I'm going to go and show you this script include. to put like this so this is the script include now if you see this script include is read has a read only policy so we can't change it which means we can't extend it but if you want to extend it what you have to do is you have to copy the script include create a copy of the script include which i have done so you can see i have created something called as n underscore payload i have copied the same code from out of the box script include and pasted it here and I have added two extra lines. And this is the extra line which I have added. Comments, incident rec dot comments dot get general entry because I need to transfer the latest comments and latest work notes only. Okay. When you do this, when you copy the script include uh, and when you make a copy of it, what you have to do is you have to also make a copy of this action. So you need to say copy action once you do this, once you click on the copy action, you will see something like this copy of update remote incident. Everything remains the same. Like you will see the all the steps, but what you have to do is you have to come to step number three and you have to substitute uh, the script include name with the script include uh, out of the box script include name with the script include name, which you have created. Once you do that, then you are almost halfway done. Then what you have to do is you have to save this and then put this into a flow like this. I have created one simple flow which says when the incident work notes or the comments are getting updated, you need to transfer those to the destination environment. Now you can see it is already activated. I already have one incident which is e-bonded, which I have shown in my previous video. So this is the incident, which you can see it population ID from the destination environment is al always this. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to my destination environment. And this is my destination environment incident, which is already open. You can see there are, there is only one comment, which is testing or one work notes, which is called as testing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some comments here, like sneak into 
custom bonding action and just for satisfaction i'm going to change this to moderate and i'm also going to add the work notes and then i'm going to save it once i save it what should happen is this comments and work notes should be transferred to the incident to this incident in the destination environment so let's go and see you can see the impact is changed you can also see the comment this is additional comments you can see and work notes these are transferred successfully from the source environment to the destination environment now to avoid the lookup you can see this is my integration user so to avoid the lookup i have given a, a loop i have given a condition in the update flow in the destination environment so that it will not trigger and retransfer the comments from destination to source so this was in short how you can extend it simple steps what you have to do is you have to make a copy of out of the box action out of the box action once you do that you have to go to step number 3 make a copy of this script include which is payload builder once you make a copy of payload builder you have to substitute the name like this in with the script include name of your choice and then put it here publish it and then use it so this is how you can extend uh, the out of the box e bonding spoke you can also do, do this for the create a remote incident uh, action for another action which is look up remote uh, incident here you can see if you want to read some additional fields from the destination environment into the source environment what you have to do is you have to again make a copy of this and you have to add the sysparam underscore fields with and, and you have to pass the value of the field here when i say value of the field uh, value of the field it means uh, the name of the field not the label of the field which you want to read but the name of the field which you want to read so what i have done is i have made a copy of this star copy of oh sorry like this copy of lookup remote incident you can see i am i wanted to read comments and i wanted to read the sys id so what i did is i went here I went to this query parameter para, uh, query parameters where it is mentioned as sys under sys param underscore fields and I have added these two uh, field names that is comments and sys id. If I test this and I need, if I pass the remote incident number for example, this is my destination uh, uh, environment dark green and this is the incident number which I need to read. So I'm going to go and paste it here and run the test. Once I do this, you guys will see that it is reading uh, the comments and the sys ID from the destination environment. So you can see I have the sys ID, um, uh, which is successfully retrieved from the destination environment. So this is how you extend the spokes, uh, out of the box e-bonding spokes. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can also do the e-bonding for attachments because here you might have seen it is not supported uh, uh, out of the box, but I will show you how you can make use of integration hub to transfer the attachment from one instance to another and instance successfully. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned to my channel.